Hello everyone and welcome to the Unreal Engine for tutorial series on getting started and in this video we will learn exception handling so what is the exception handling so if I play this game as you can see something is printing if I close this so many errors uh, access none and I know that major public have faced this error access none so what does this even mean and how can you overcome this error because this is a serious error and if you publish a game with these errors your game will crash right all right so let's first discuss what this does even mean so as you can see i have created one simple actor and in here i have created a new variable and the variable's default value is my name is q right all right in my third person character as you can see i have one begin play and one event tick this begin play will be called as soon as your game starts or if your character is spawning dynamically this begin play will be called as soon as your character spawn right and what i am doing in the begin play so i am waiting for 0.2 seconds and after 0.2 seconds i am simply spawning an actor and i am setting that actor's value in this variable i am calling in my variable right and on the event tick and this event tick will be called every single frame if you want to call it every interval let's say every one second you can do that manually but by default it will be called every single frame so i'm getting my variable like this and from that i am getting the name so my variable is a simple actor right which one we have created and from that i am getting a name and i am printing right now what so this event take will be called as soon as your game starts right so if i do not wait for 0 0.2 seconds and if i play does this event take starts but this guy is still in the spawning so this is not created so for the some single frame it should return us a none value right but series if i play and if i close nothing is spawning we haven't got that access none so why is that so let's discuss that so the event begin play will be called whenever your game starts so as you can see right now i have 22 actors if i hit play as you can see it's 33 actors and this yellow actors this camera actors and this one the yellow one are created dynamically as you can see all the things are created dynamically this is why the event begin play is called but uh, you said that this event take will be called every time it starts then why it not setting this as a none because yeah our spawning actor is still in the spawning process it's still in making so for some frames this should return us a none value because it is not assigned yet right but why is that why this is not returning us a none value the reason is if you open any of your blueprint any and if you search for a tick as you can see there is a tick start with tick enable so if you disable it this will never gonna code right so you know, in order to call it you have to set this tick to true which will by default will be true now there is an intervals so by 0 0 second it means yeah it will call every single frame if i call it like one second so it will call every one second right uh, as you can see the third one allow tick before begin play if you allow it will be called as soon as your game spawned it will not wait this guy to uh, finish this process it will simply call out this so if you click this will call out as soon as your game spawn if you do not take this it will wait for this begin play to finish and then this take will be called so that is the major difference right so this is why our take is waiting for this begin play and in the begin play we are simply spawning an actor and setting it from the class right this is why we are not getting the error access 
then why when you delay it is getting the error the reason is this event begin play and this take will be called simultaneously so if you know multi threading concept you will know more better but as soon as we are uh, waiting for 0.2 seconds so for the 0.2 second for the first frames it will get a none value of this variable so if we play for the first 0.2 second it will get a none value for that variable right so as you can see now we have uh, access none because the variable is not even set at that so now what is the best thing to remove that access none there are three ways to do that first thing is uh, as you can see if i click the default value is none that means yeah we haven't defined any object in here if you grab a node and if you search uh, let me just grab a get a variable which is this one and i will if you search is valid is valid as you can see it is determined if your object is valid or not it means it is say uh, setting that yeah if our variable is in editor or not it, it is in our game or not so if i do not have any variable inside here inside my game then it will say that yeah your variable doesn't have in the game it is not spawned in the game but as you can see you might wondering if it's checking for every single time if it is in your game or not it will take some time then why this is so fast well it is not checking directly in the editor it is checking this variables value if it's null or not right so in your computer's ram in your computer's memory if you have any variable assigned there will be some value in your ram stored but if you are destroying this variable if you are destroying this object then the object is destroyed from your the from your game right but the this variable is still pointing out to that variable but that variable is destroyed that means this will access a none value so if it's valid that means yeah it is in our game we can access it if it is not valid that yeah for some reasons it is destroyed or for some reasons it is not even spawned yet this is why we are getting this access none value and obviously i have i have to show you the three ways to check how to overcome this the first one is this is valid execute node now if you double click on this macro this is a macro you can say it is the is valid boolean value and from the branch it is simply checking for if it's valid or not right so, so this is the same as this one if it's valid if i grab a node and if i search is valid but right now i am getting this pure function then this is one and if i hit branch so if it's valid then it, it will return a true one if it's not then it will return a false one so this and this both are the same thing these both are same this will only require one node but this will require two, two nodes so if you want a boolean value you, you you can get this one otherwise this one so these are the two ways let's talk about the third way and how let's see how efficient this is so now if i grab a node from here and if i set if it's valid or not now as you can see we won't get that access none because we have handled our exception yeah if it's not valid if if we handle our none value we won't do anything if it's valid then and then we will print a string right and it will work same in this one so let's say if I grab in here it will work the same even the execution speed is same right so these and this both are the same so as you can see if I hit play and if I close we have overcome that method we are now getting not access none right let's talk about the third one and let's see how efficient this is and should we use that or not so if you grab your variable in here and if you right click on this pin you can see this convert to validate get and if you get and if you search for this one if you attach it to like this if it's valid or not 
it is still setting that yeah if our variable is none or not then and then it will set to print string otherwise not right so now if i hit play it is still not accessing a none value and it is still working as this two right but what is the difference why this is different from these two the reason is from here and here it will check for your solid object as well as your soft objects right so your solid objects are like this your this object the player character and everything are the solid objects what are the soft objects so consider a thing like this if you crash your car and your car are squeezing your cars are squeezing that means your cars are not solid objects they are soft objects so this won't gonna work for the soft object so if you grab and if you search for simple uh, where it was my simple right my simple yes my simple actor so object reference and class reference right there is a soft object reference and soft class reference so this for this two this guy won't gonna work if you have a soft object reference you sh must have to use this guy otherwise that won't gonna work so this is what a access none so the access none means yeah your variable is pointing out to a value that is not even null that means we have access a none value that means yeah your variable is pointing out to a value that is a none but yeah we have setting that value to something something called this spawning my and uh, i am spawning an actor and then i am setting it to a variable that means yeah we have updated our value or variables already so now it won't gonna set to none right so this is what access none means and i hope that i have elaborated my theories very often so thank you so much guys for watching and bye bye